Hello everyone, in this video we're going to look at the most interesting new features and changes that Microsoft is making available on Windows 11 build 22557. This preview comes with a lot of new stuff, but they're not tied to any specific release of Windows 11. Microsoft can choose to include or discard any of these features at any time. Also, some of the features may even roll out for the next feature update. Okay, there is a lot to cover, so let's dive into the new features and changes for Windows 11 build 22557. In this preview of Windows 11, Microsoft is testing the ability to create folders on the Start menu. So now when you open the Start menu, you can now drag an app on top of another app to create folders. And you can keep adding more apps as you like. And then when clicking the folder, we're going to see the list of apps. In addition, we can move the folders around. And when you open them, you can just drag the apps out and that will undo that specific folder. As part of the uh, Taskbar improvements, you can now drag and drop files to the running application and then drop it to open that file with that application. Furthermore, you can now pen apps by dragging and dropping them into the taskbar. But that's only possible if you do it from the all apps section. So let's say I can drag and drop this one right here. And as you can see, now we can pin the application to the taskbar. However, if we try to do that from the pin section, that will not work. Also, Microsoft has added a new visual indicator on the taskbar for the share window feature, which will indicate that a window is being shared. On computers configured with more than one color profile, when you open the uh, quick settings, you will now be able to see an option that will allow you to switch between the color modes more easily, which is this one right here. If you use the casting feature on Windows 11 using the Windows key plus K keyboard shortcut, you will now see a new cast icon that will appear at the bottom left corner of the taskbar indicated that you are casting. Clicking the icon will open the uh, cast quick settings where you can quickly stop the stream. Also, Microsoft has updated the battery charging indicator, as you can see right here, with a lightning bolt instead of a power core. On Windows 11, there is also a new Don't Disturb feature that makes it easy to set a notification banners. You can even set rules to automatically turn on the feature in the notification settings. So here's where you turn it on and off. Here are some features that you can use to not disturb and you can set notification priorities. Also on the notification settings, there is a button right at the top corner that allows you to turn on and off the feature. As part of the uh, focus changes, to help you stay on track, the feature now integrates with the clock app and when you open the notification center, you will be able to, to start a session as you can see in the bottom right corner. You can set the time that you want to be focused doing something and then you can click start button to start the focus session. When you start a focus session, the taskbar Badging will turn off, flashing of application in the taskbar will also turn off, and the focus timer will appear on the screen, and the do not disturb feature will also turn on. When your focus session ends, you will receive a notification letting you know that your focus time has been completed. You can always change the settings by going to settings, notification, and then going to the focus page. And as you can see, you can also start a focus session right from the uh, settings app. Microsoft is also testing a new live caption feature, which is a new accessibility feature that allows anyone to better understand the audio by viewing the captions of the spoken content. To open the uh, feature, you have to use the Windows key, Control L keyboard shortcut, and then you can choose to place it anywhere you want. As a form of captions, they're also filtered for profanity, and there is an option also to include the microphone audio and you can change the caption style so let me just play quickly a portion of the video and as you can see that we have the live captions going on right here with this feature so if this is the first time that you're starting this feature you will be prompted to to download a package 
to set up the feature. Right now, Live Caption is only supported on English US content. File Explorer is also getting some experimental features that may or may not be included in future updates of Windows 11. One of these changes is the ability to pin files to the quick access section. So let's say that I am on OneDrive and I can now right click a file and then use this option to pin it to the quick access. However, files will not appear in this section. Instead, it will appear in the new pin file section when you open the quick access page to open the file right from this page. In this case, I just pin a Excel file and because it is in OneDrive and I don't have Office installed in this computer, I will get an option to open the file with a web browser using Office Online. If you use Windows 11 with a Microsoft account or work or education account, the uh, pin and resume files from office.com will also appear in the quick access section right here. File Explorer also comes with a new OneDrive integration to help you have control over the storage consumption and to ensure that the files are synced to the cloud. And that integration comes with an icon at the uh, top right corner of the screen, which you can click to see that you have all your files sync and you can see the total space that you have in the cloud. You also get an option to get more storage, view your online files and open the settings. In addition, Microsoft is also bringing back the ability to see a preview of content about the folder. As you can see, we get these thumbnails to give us a glance of what's inside of the folder. Also, according to Microsoft, when sharing a local file using File Explorer and you want to use the Outlook app, it is now possible to compose an email message directly within the share window without having to open Outlook directly, as you can see in this screenshot from Microsoft. Microsoft is also experimenting with a new interface to help you snap windows using the Snap Assist feature. So now when you when you click and drag a window to the top, you're going to see a drop down with all the different layouts that you can use. And then you can just drop the window where you want it to place it. And then you can continue snapping windows based on the layout that you have selected. As part of the uh, new changes available with Windows 11 build 22,557, Microsoft is adding some power management and recommendation tweaks. Uh, for example, now the default values for sleep and screen off are now reduced to save energy and carbon emissions when the computer is idle. Even further, Windows 11 will now offer power saving recommendations to help reduce carbon emissions to those with the sleep and screen off set to never, as you can see right here. Well, we have seen it before, now it's official. Microsoft is planning to work in a new version of the task manager that now includes a design that matches the Windows 11 style. So this is the new task manager available on Windows 11 build 22,557. And as you can see, is the same task manager that we're used to, just with a new frame adapted to the modern design that Windows 11 uses. Now the navigation pane is on the left and we have the different sections that we can navigate. And there is a settings page that allows you to set a default page. When you open the task manager app, you can set the real time update speed and you can also set it to open the window always on the top, minimize or hidden when minimize. And also there's these other two options. There is not an option to change the theme, but if you switch from the light to the dark theme, Task Manager will also take that color scheme. And actually the uh, performance page looks pretty awesome to me. Task Manager also comes with a new 
efficiency mode feature, which was formerly known as Echo Mode, which Microsoft introduced as a preview long time ago, but now it's coming back. So now in supported apps, some of the uh, services and applications that are controlled by Windows, you won't be able to actually use it. But for example, in Microsoft Edge, if you right click one of the uh, services, you can see that now we have the efficiency mode option when we right click on it. This feature will come in handy when you notice that an app consumes high resources and you want to limit that consumption to prioritize the energy efficiency of the computer and to save battery life. Also, you can only use efficiency mode for a single process. You cannot use this option to try to limit the power consumption of a group of processes. Also, the uh, pause icon that you see right here indicates that the process has been suspended. As part of the uh, settings changes, Windows 11 improves results when searching for settings. The company has also increased the size of the icons for the navigation pane to make it easier to see. Also, according to the company, Storage Sense will now be turned on by default when computers are going through the out-of-box experience but your current settings will be preserved during the upgrade. You can always change the settings by going to the storage management section on storage and then just turning on or off the automatic user content cleanup or this toggle switch right here. If we go to time and language, we're going to see that now the section includes this hero controls. In this case, we get the clock and time and options to access the time zone and region settings. Also, the uh, new hero controls are available when you are in the uh, in the date and time section. Also, if we go to personalization and then we open the uh, fonts page, we're now going to see that the section to drag and drop files to install fonts, it's larger. When you lock the computer and you access the uh, sign-in page and open the accessibility menu, that also has been updated to match the design that we're seeing throughout Windows 11. On Windows 11 build 22,557, Microsoft has also updated the snap group visuals to include the desktop wallpaper to make it easier to see the difference between the groups. So let's say that I have two apps snap on the screen and when you hover the app that is included on that snap, we can see a preview that also shows the desktop background. That's going to make it easier to see the applications and identify the group of snap apps that you want to switch to. Not only here, but if you also use the test preview, you will also see that change reflected in this interface. Also, if you use the Alt tab keyboard shortcut. Also, starting with build 22,557, title bars for legacy components, such as the run command and pages from control panel, will now use the Mika transparent material. Let me just switch to another theme so you can see more closely. And this is how the new title bars look. However, it seems that it still needs work because if we switch to the dark theme, the title bar will still stay on the light theme. Let me just change this to see if that makes any difference. By turning on the accent color, we'll return to the legacy style but this is still a work in progress. So I just changed the uh, desktop background so you can see that the um, Mika material now shows better with the green color in the background. As part of the uh, networking features on Windows 11, the uh, TKIP and web are now deprecated security standards and Windows 11 will no longer allow connections to those types starting with this flight. Also similar to the requirement for Windows 11 Home, the Pro Edition of Windows 11 will now require an internet connectivity to complete the installation. So if you choose to set up the device for personal use, a Microsoft account will be required during the setup. Windows 11 build 22,557 is also expanding the dynamic refresh rate or DRR experience on laptops with a 120 hertz display. So this means that when you move the cursor, the system will boost to 120 hertz, making your computer feel a little more responsive. Smooth scrolling is now supported in Office and Microsoft Edge and the Windows UI, like on the settings app. Microsoft is also planning to release a new Windows HDR calibration app 
to improve color accuracy and consistency of your HDR display. The setting is already available on System Display HDR and it's this one right here, but currently it's just a link that opens a post with more details about the upcoming feature. According to the post, the app will be available on the Microsoft Store and it will run on HDR capable displays. Just like on Xbox, the Windows HDR calibration app will feature the same test pattern recommended by the HDR gaming interest group for better HDR gaming experience. One to determine the darkness visible detail that you can see, one to determine the brightness visible detail, and one to determine how bright your display can be. This release also introduces a new feature called optimization for windowed games and it's designed to improve latency and enable other features like auto HDR and variable refresh rate or VRR. Of course, this feature will be available only on capable devices. Windows 11 build 22557 also includes five new touch gestures to make it easier and quicker to navigate the desktop and apps using touch. I don't have touch on my computer, so I'm going to show you some animations posted by Microsoft. And the uh, first one is the ability to swipe your fingers from the middle of the taskbar to invoke the start menu and swipe back down to dismiss it. Now you can also swipe right to left from the uh, pin section to get to the all apps and left to right to get back to the pin section. In addition, you can also swipe with your finger from the bottom right of the taskbar to invoke the quick settings and swipe back down to dismiss it. Microsoft also updated the animation when swiping to invoke and dismiss the notification center from the right edge of the screen so that it is more responsive and it now follows your finger. And according to the company in full screen, touch oriented apps and games you will now notice a gripper that appears if you swipe from the edge of the screen. In addition to these new features and changes, Windows 11 build 22557 also brings some minor updates to voice access, narrator, windowing behavior, window search, and much more. I will be leaving a link in the video description to a post with all the details about this flight. But just remember that this feature may or may not arrive to the final version of Windows 11. Also, some of the features may arrive an accumulative update every other month, but Microsoft will continue to release new version of the operating system at least once a year. And the next one is scheduled to be released by the end of the year or during the second half of 2022. And that's it. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.